you how to make a contact sheet using Photoshop. Most of my other videos have been using Photopea, um, but Photopea does not support this. So the first thing I need to do is to go to File and how to automate in Contact Sheet 2. Not sure what happened to Contact Sheet 1, to be honest. Right, on the source images, um, I'm going to make sure we've clicked on Files. Sometimes it will show Folder. Files is what we're interested in. At the bottom here, the thumbnails, it will do 5 by 6. 5 across and 6 down. This is when it puts all the photos onto one sheet or few fewer. I click on OK, uh, so I click on Browse, and this takes me to some peer photographs I took of Cleveland Pier. So I'm going to highlight the first 20 or so, and once they're highlighted, put, click on Open, and they will appear in the window in the Source Images window. Then all I need to do is to click OK. I can actually change the number of rows and columns if I chose at this point. I'm going to keep it at 5 by 6. I now click on OK. And what the computer starts to do, it takes each image in sequence, it sizes it so it fits in its own space on the contact sheet, and then it will put it there on the screen. This takes a little while. The reason we do contact sheets is so that we can see all of our photos from the same shoot in the same place. This enables us to evaluate the best ones and the ones which need improvement. It enables us to analyse and write about our work for our coursework. You can choose the photographs that you're going to make the final edits from at this point as well. You can compare different photos together. It takes a little while this process because we've got some fairly large picture files being uploaded or downloaded into Photoshop to create our contact sheet. And finally, we see all of our selected 20 photographs in the one place. We can zoom in, have a look. What we'd normally do is print it out and select the photos which we're going to edit. I quite like this one, for example. Right, the next thing that you need to do, you need to go to Layer, and go down to the bottom to Flatten Image. This puts it all onto a single sheet. Then what I do, I need to save the contact sheet, ready to put it into my PowerPoint, or print out depending upon how I present my sketchbook. I go to File, I go to Save As, and it's automatically saving it into the correct place. So I'm going to call this Contact Sheet. Contact Sheet, Peer, and I press Save. This will make a single file of about 1.2 to 2 megabytes of memory. And that is how you make a contact sheet.